Acid-catalyzed hydration is a highly useful reaction in that it forms alcohols from alkenes. And it's an example of catalysis, and this is probably the first mechanistic example of catalysis that you've seen. So we're going to talk a little bit about how catalysis works in a mechanistic sense in this video, in addition to looking at the mechanism and products of hydration in detail. Acid-catalyzed hydration refers to the addition, formally at least, of H plus and OH minus across a pi bond with the help of an acid catalyst. Water on its own is not acidic enough to protonate a double bond, of course, and generate hydroxide. And so we need an acid to get the process started. The products of this reaction are alcohols. And here again, as we saw in hydrohalogenation, the hydroxyl-bearing carbon in the product must be secondary or tertiary since a carbocation intermediate is involved. The mechanism here involves a prototypical proton transfer with electrophile addition step. It's very similar to the first step of hydrohalogenation, followed by association of a nucleophile, which is again very similar to hydrohalogenation, followed by a final proton transfer step. And the thing I want to draw your attention to about this mechanism, which is true of all acid-base catalyzed mechanisms, is that proton transfer events surround a key mechanistic step in the center of the mechanism, the A sub N. As I put it on the slide here, the proton transfer steps bookend the key A sub N step. And one way to think about catalysis is that this first proton transfer from the acid catalyst is what enables the A sub N step to take place. It would not take place on its own, for example, through curved arrows like this, in the absence of the acid. The acid is needed to encourage this process to occur. In the first step of this mechanism, we have the typical A sub E plus proton transfer. It's an A sub E or electrophile association step from the perspective of the alkene, but it's a proton transfer step from the perspective of the acid catalyst. As in hydrohalogenation, this step generates a carbocation intermediate. Here, it's a tertiary carbocation. But now we reach an interesting difference with hydrohalogenation. The conjugate base of sulfuric acid, HSO4- is also generated in this step. This anion does not coordinate to the carbocation. It's so stable that it's what we call a non-nucleophilic conjugate base or anion. It's so stable, in fact, that the neutral molecule water, which is often used here in solvent quantities, will coordinate to the carbocation in preference to bisulfate, HSO4-. This gives rise to a product that is a protonated alcohol. Let's pause for a brief second and talk about the catalysis here. We noted previously that water is not nucleophilic enough on its own to attack this atom in the starting alkene. But notice how protonation of the other carbon of the alkene has made this carbon a lot more electrophilic, enabling attack by the relatively weak nucleophile water. This is how acid catalysts work. Through proton transfer, they transform weak electrophiles, such as an alkene, into strong electrophiles, such as a carbocation. At this point, regeneration of the catalyst is just a matter of transferring a proton back to the bisulfate anion. Notice that this step gives rise to the neutral alcohol product here, and regenerates sulfuric acid, so that it can participate again in the mechanism here. H2SO4 isn't the only acid that can promote hydration. Any strong acid that gives rise quantitatively to H3O plus in aqueous solution is going to be a viable acid catalyst here. And so it's often helpful actually to avoid the formation of this non-nucleophilic anion completely by protonating using hydronium ion. This generates water in the second step. And then using water as the base in the final proton transfer step to generate the product. This is actually somewhat more physically realistic since the sulfuric acid catalyst gets converted completely to H3O plus and SO4 2 minus, frankly, as soon as it's dissolved in water. To emphasize this point, you'll often just see H3O plus cat written here as the acid catalyst rather than a specific strong acid. 